Hi everyone, recording this for the second time because the first time I screwed it up. Why, why slash how, who knows, I'm not very good at this. Whatever. So I made this video because I wanted to talk about the past like five weeks of my life. Technically a few months back because I applied back in like March or whatever, but I went to SCAD's Rising Star program this year, you know, Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, Rising Star program is a program in which you can take up to two college courses and get actual credit for them um, over a five week period. And it's, I think of it as only for rising seniors in high school. So that's where we at, boys. Um, so for my two classes, I took intro to sequential art and intro to illustration strategies. Um, so, we had a class for five weeks, and we would have class four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and our first class would be at 11 a.m. and would end at 1.30 p.m. Our second class was from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m., my bad. Uh, this is all EST because, you know, Savannah, Georgia, you know, SCAD, Georgia, you get the deal. Anyway, so, like, five hours a class a day, so, like, you know, 20 hours a week? I'm good at math. So that's, that's what the Rising Star program is. Very epic, very cool. So I applied back in March, I think, um, before they announced there was going to be virtual. This year is virtually. Typically, you go on to either the Atlanta or Savannah campus, and you actually attend the classes in actual SCAD buildings, which is what I was super excited for. And then, you know, it was virtual because of corona and all that, which is haha <laughs> sad. I'm still sad about it, but it's okay. It's nothing I can do now. So, sorry, I'm gonna keep breathing to the mic. I'm using my Apple headphones, so you know this is gonna be high quality sound. I'm trying, I swear to God. Anyway, so first thing we did when I was like after I was accepted and everything, um, when it was actual time for Rising Star program, they had us download Slack and add us all to like this big giant SCAD group chat, where you know all the representatives could like tell us when stuff is like when events happen and everything that was going on, and then within, like, the first day, Emma Catherine, bless her soul, created <laughs> um, the Discord for us, and I migrated there and kind of ignored Slack for the rest of the time, and that's fine with me, honestly, because I much prefer Discord over Slack. Slack's just knockoff Discord, I don't like it as much. So, I still, I mean, I still check Slack every so often, because, you know, it, that's where all the announcements are, and, uh... We each were assigned to, like, a cohort, um, with, like, one representative, and we would have hall meetings every week, and I went to the first one and the second one, but then after, like, the second one, no one showed up ever, so I just stopped going because, I don't know, I have no passion. I, I made friends in the Discord instead, so that's cool. Um, so the Discord, I don't know, I don't know what to say about it. We have, like, we have three million channels, and then we have specific roles, so you can be in channels specific like specific to your classes so i was in the sika channel and i was in the illustration channel and um my teachers for my classes i had professor castillo for sequential art and i had professor gardner for illustration both very cool both very epic i enjoyed both their classes like a whole lot um sequential art was a lot of fun we had seven projects i think i think it was seven and um Lots, lots of comics, lots of storyboards. I, like, kept choosing to not do storyboards, so I don't think I actually did any. I just kept making a bunch of comics. Lots of character design. I had a fun time. We watched, like, videos. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not very descriptive. The people in my class were very cool. There was, like, I don't know. I, I enjoyed my time with them. Lots of frogs, because we all liked frogs and we're all gay. So, you know, gay frog action. Bless his heart, Professor Castillo, for listening to us talk about being gay and also loving frogs for the entirety of the five weeks. So that was my first class, so I had that at 11 a.m. every day, and I was half asleep for all of them. But you know what? I got group grades, and that's what matters. Um, my second class was Intro to Illustration Strategies, Professor Gardner. Very cool class. I made this piece for my final because we had to make book covers, and I chose Volume 49 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because I have an addiction. 
I really, really like part five. Part five disease brain rot rate, it's straight in my brain. But I also like part four. Do not worry, CEO of Yuzuko, right here. I'm in love with her. That's all. Whatever. Continuing on. This class is really fun. We only had four projects for the five weeks because, you know, we spent a lot of time on each of them because it was like one big illustration. Except for the uh, third one where we had to make an editorial portrait and we had to make one of Greta Thunberg and we had like, what, three, four days? Maybe more than that. I don't know. It was really quick. But, you know, it was fun and I, I enjoyed it. I like the, like, different paces that we went at in that one so you could see, like, a little bit of what it's like to do, like, different types of illustration. I enjoyed it. It was very, very fun, very entertaining. I think it definitely helped me, like, consider, like, value more. Because, okay, I'll talk about this project really quick. We had to make um, a value study first, which is, like, you know, the first thing I did in this. That's why it's all, like, grayscale or whatever. Then I, we had to make a color comp and then our final piece. So it really helps me go through the process of everything. I mean, Sequential Art did that too. It helped me learn a lot about comics and like shots. I swear. I just, for some reason, it's easier for me to talk about illustration. I, it was very cool. Um, so that's how I feel about those things. My classes, I mean. Um, so if I were to actually go on the campus, we would have gone to like events and like stuff. I don't know if they did it every night like they did in the summer seminars like I did last year, but um, I know that they did stuff on the weekends, and I really very mad that I didn't get to go do events on the weekends with friends or whatever. But it's okay. I'm I'm just gonna try to let it go because Raven Star is already over, and it's not like I could have done anything to change it. I understand why it was virtual, and I understand why we had to stay home. I'm still just sad about it, whatever. Um, but we had events. I think it was called Coffees and Conversations, and might not, might not be correct, but they would discuss, like, various um underrated minors and majors or whatever something like that there was a major and minors fair like last week that i wanted to go to and for some reason i didn't i was really good at forgetting when events were i did not go to a single one <laughs> i had trouble motivating myself to actually go to events because i've been i'm really good at being kind of gloomy which is an issue that i should work on but nevertheless we are here now. Um, so at the end of the five weeks, we were supposed to submit our one one of our best works from each of our classes. So, you know, you would have two best works. And I submitted, like, the this cover I made for my sequel class. And then I submitted, actually, this piece for my illustration class. But I everything was due, like... 8 a.m. on Wednesday, and I finished this on Thursday, so I submitted, like, an unfinished version, technically. It doesn't, it's not bad. It's just, like, not where it could have been after, like, you know, final prestige or whatever. But I liked it more than everything else I did in the class, so I think I can link the exhibition. I'm gonna link the two that I was in, because I don't know how to link the PDF. But those will be in the description because you should check out all of my classmates' work because they all slap and I love all of them very much because they're all so talented. Please stand them all. So anyway, overall, Rising Star, pretty cool, pretty epic. Um, I'm very, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy I could, you know, because I don't feel like it's exactly like a taste of what college would be like considering it was all virtual. I'm not going to know that. I'm not going to know exactly what it would be like the same as if I had been on campus, but I think it was a pretty good adaptation to, like, virtual. Like, we still learned the content. We still took the classes. It's still, like, what it should be, you know? Um, I'm, not, I'm not unhappy with my experience. I think I had trouble, like, staying engaged with announcements and, like, activities and things that they were, like, trying to pump us up for, because it just felt like they were unneeded. But that might just be my opinion. I might just be a little bit, like, gloomy, like I said earlier, because I wanted everything to be on campus. But it's okay. I, I, think, I think the program was really good, and it definitely, like, has helped me like figure out a little bit more of like how to navigate a college class which is exactly what it should have been so that's all 
hunky dory. Um, I don't really know what else there is to say. I mean, I still got like what three minutes left. My video has been glitching out while I was watching it. I'm supposed to be like commentating. Oh yeah, I think I think. Sorry if the video has been glitching out for like literally everyone else because um, Procreate sucks at <laughs> exporting videos. So I'm gonna try and do something different next time if I make another video like this. So that's an effort I will have to put forth. Oh, um, there is one thing I would like to say that's like I think is positive about Virtual Rising Star, and that's that um, it gave me an opportunity to, like to meet a bunch of people that I wouldn't have met otherwise on campus since I probably would have only interacted with, you know, my dorm mates and then people and like classmates. I would have only had the chance and opportunity to like talk with those people, but with the all being virtual and everyone being in like you know the same group chats, the same like Slack, the same Discord, I can talk to people who are in fashion or animation rather than just sequential art and illustration, which I think is a very very cool thing, and I can make like you know have a more diverse group of friends, you big, which I think I think that's a. I think that's neat. <laughs> I don't... Rising Star, solid 3.5 to 4 out of 5, you know? It's... It wasn't bad. Just, I would have preferred on campus, but that's not really something they can control, so I can't really, like, totally downvote them, you know? I don't know. Still kind of sad. But that's okay. Um... So I guess that's that's really all I have to say. Um, I am I <laughs> had I had a good time, made some good friends, and I hope that I get to see everyone on campus in twenty twenty one. My cat's here to say hello. She's very talkative. But um, yeah. Excited to see everyone if we actually end up do if we if we do actually end up going back on campus in 2021 because I know for right now um, SCAD is currently not on campus like where people are allowed to like go to dorms and use facilities or whatever but other than that no like on campus classes which is you know smart big brain I understand I hope I can go on campus when the time comes though because I would love to meet all the people I've spoken to in person and it would be very cool. Um, anyway, had a good time. Hope you had a good time. I still have like 10 seconds left, huh? Stan Abacchio and Moody Blues. That is all I gotta say. Thank you.